today we are going to be drawing a letter W animal. But before we get to that, as always, we're going to check out our drawings from the other day where we made a vulture. Vulture was our V animal. I love this drawing done by Claire. I like the extra details that you added here as well. Um, with the sign, we learned that the vultures are um, an endangered animal. Uh, and even though they're a little bit kind of weird looking, they still need our help too. Oftentimes when people think about endangered animals, they think of the cute, cuddly ones or the, the more popular, well-known ones. But even the ugly vulture has to um, have some appreciation as well. So I like your sign, Save the Vultures. Very cool. I also like these details that you made in your clouds up there. They look silver. Nice. Here we have Coraline, our pre-K friend. Great job on your royal, rural, royal, royal <laughs> your royal vulture. Nice job. Here we have Mia Mia. I love all these bright colors that you use to color in your vulture. Very cool. Here we have another one, Juliana, first grade friend. Uh, it looks like your vulture is flying in the sky among all of the clouds. We have another brightly colored vulture. Here we have Kaylee. It looks like your vulture is just taking off in flight, getting ready to put those wings out to fly. We have Lucas's vulture perched up in a tree. Jordan, nice job. Oh, it looks like your vulture has a, a bone. We learned that vultures eat dead animals, so I bet that's where that bone came from. Very cool, nice detail. Caleb, well done. I like yours. Here we have Cameron. Cameron, it looks like your vulture maybe has a dead animal. Is that a dead mouse maybe hanging from him? What a cool detail. Awesome. And here, hmm, why is a pea penguin here? Well, I saw this uh, a couple, I guess it was last week, a couple days ago. Um, Jordan drew this awesome penguin, but what he drew back here is our animal that we're going to draw today, a walrus. I thought he did such a great idea. It was a good inspiration for the walrus we're going to draw today. So great job, uh, Jordan. We're going to use your walrus as an example on how we draw a walrus today. First, let's learn a little bit about walruses over here on National Geographic Kids. Great place for us to learn some animal facts. Uh, walruses are an animal that has uh, a wrinkled brown skin, so we're going to have lots of wrinkles that we want to use. Um, they have uh, brownish pinkish skin. They have long, coarse whiskers on their mouth. They have lots of blubber on their bodies to keep them warm in the cold Arctic water, so we want to make them very large. Here we see a mama walrus and her baby. A young walruses will stay with their mom up to five years learning how to uh, be able to move in the water and how to hunt and gather food. So important for that bond. Walruses have long tusks and a prominent mustache. Those tusks, you feel those pointy teeth in your mouth? Those are called canine teeth. And that is actually what the walrus tusks are. It's their canine teeth. They can grow up to three feet. Um, that is long. And so they use those tusks in many different ways. Both males and females have the tusks. Um, they use them uh, for the males. They sometimes um, will use them to fight and show who's the boss, whereas um, all of them use their tusks to help them break through uh, ice. It also helps them come out of the water, gives them leverage. Here we can see where do walruses live? Walruses live way up top in the Arctic Ocean. Now, the way that this map is situated, it looks a little bit different than what we are used to seeing when we look at a globe. So to help us out, I made a globe for us. This is actually an orange, but I drew on it. Um, so here is what we normally see on our globe. There's the United States, that's where we live. Canada's right above us. We also have Mexico and South America below us. But if I were to, and we know our, our world turns this way, but if I were to turn our globe like this up here, stem, that would be the North Pole. And that is what we are looking at here on this map. Um, this ocean water that you see up here, that is the Arctic Ocean. You can also kind of see down here exactly where we're looking at. Um, so here would be Greenland, and here would be Canada, here would be Alaska. Um, so the yellow areas, that's where we're going to find a walrus. Along the banks of Asia, um, up here, Canada, Greenland, uh, also in our Alaska, uh, are all places where walruses would come uh, on the beaches, on the shores. 
to that is where they like to live. Um, Walter says they can live up to 40 years, 40 years. Um, so they can live quite a good amount of time. They can be anywhere between um, seven and a quarter to 11 and a half feet. So it is a big animal. Um, we talked about them living in the cold Arctic waters. They use their tusks to help them break through the ice. Um, the whiskers, that's another important part for them. The whiskers on their face, they're very sensitive. It helps the walruses find their favorite meals, such as clams, way down in the deep, dark ocean floor. So we want to make sure that we add whiskers to our um, walrus today. So great idea over here from Jordan. Let's keep that in mind while we draw today. That's what I'm going to kind of remember doing. Um, I'm going to flip this around so I can do my drawing. And we're going to start by making the letter W first. Yep. Regular letter W. And then I'm going to make another W right underneath it. Or I guess you could also do it on top. So two W's in a row. And then I'm going to connect and connect. To make it into a block letter W, I'm going to extend out all my corners, all going over to one side, the left, and connect those up. Connect, 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 and connect. And there is our W. I'm just going to erase that little bit that went over there. To make our walrus, um, not sure exactly what spot Jordan started on, but I think a great spot for us to start is going to be on his mouth section. So I'm going to start with a rainbow line. And then we're going to make this look almost like a jelly bean. So I'm going to come underneath and I'm going to come up and back down. Kind of looks like a jelly bean, right? We want to give him his bottom. Part to him, so I'm going to put a smile line and then one more smile line. I'll make his little color it in a little bit so it looks like his tongue in there. Now we do need those big tusks, we know that is very important for our walrus. So I'm going to make a curve line down and back up. You can make your tusk as long as you would like, we know that they can grow up to almost three feet. Curve line down and back up. That is definitely a big feature of how someone recognizes a walrus. Let's give our walrus a nose. I'm do a little rainbow line, connect it with a smile line. You can color that in if you want. And then we know those whiskers are very important. So you can put little dots, little lines to show the mouth of the walrus. Now let's do the head. I'm going to make a rainbow line and I'm going to keep going, keep going, keep going. And we know that there's going to be lots of wrinkles. So I'm going to actually make a little more of a wrinkle bump and another wrinkle bump there. Let's go to the front. Um, I know we have these walrus tusks in the way here. so. Um, I might come right here at the bottom of my walrus tusk. I'm going to make his belly. I'm not going to go the whole way, though, because I want to leave room for his front flippers. All right. If this is his belly, I'm going to make on this side his flipper. It's like a letter J and flat on the bottom and curved back up. See how my flipper and my belly are on the same spot? And then I'm going to come on this side, and I'm going to draw a line down and back and curve around and then back up. It's going to be his flipper on this side. And we can add little flipper lines. There we go. Let's make our big walrus tail. So I'm going to come back on his back and 
curve it around. And then I'm going to make a couple bumps to look like his flipper tail. Like a letter C, a letter C, a letter C. And then let's curve that back up. And I'm going to connect it right there. Connect your front flipper to the back so that shows his belly keeps going. Uh, all right, we need to give our waller some eyes. I think Jordan's eyes were little dots like this with little lines underneath. So if you want to make your walrus size like that, if you want to make your walrus eyes um, but big cartoon eyes, you can do that too. You get to decide how you want to do your walrus eyes. Cool. Now, I think a great place, um, you can decide where you want your walrus to be. Um, I think a great place for the walrus to hang out would be um, maybe hanging out on a on an ice glacier. That'd be kind of a cool detail to do. So I'm going to draw a line behind him, and I'm going to pretend it goes through his body, through his body, through his body, through his body. Make a line back there. And then I'm going to kind of just make doesn't matter exactly what shape your glacier is. It can just be whatever shape you want it to be. I kind of made some zigzag lines around it. Now to make it look like it's a piece of ice floating in the water, I'm going to draw a line down at all of any of the bumps that I have. Any of the bumps, I'm going to make a line coming down. And then I'm going to try to make that same kind of connective line. Make it the same way like it was on the top. And if you want, you can add a couple more little lines going up and down to show it's a piece. All right, and since this is in the ocean, I'm going to make some waves. And I'm going to make some waves around the glacier. Like that. Maybe I'll make some ocean in the background too. Cool. Maybe in the far off distance, you see some ice glaciers in the background. This kind of reminds me of when we made our our penguin. Now, we learned actually penguins live in Antarctica uh, down at the bottom. The walruses are living way at the top at the Arctic, so maybe there would be a, a polar bear nearby. That could be in the background. All right, let's get to doing some of the coloring. All right, got my... Walrus all colored in there. I use lots of different colors of blue to show the water, to show the iceberg. Um, you could also use some white. I guess I could make the top of this iceberg more white to show a little bit more snow too, huh? You could do something like that. Um, you can make your walrus however you would like. Um, I can't wait for you to see it. I do want to share with you one more thing today. I have my Be the Nice Kid shirt on. If you remember um, back uh, towards the beginning of the school year, my friend Brian Kavnak from Be the Nice Kid, he came and he visited our school. And what he normally does during the year, he, he does do golf lessons, but he also travels to school, uh, different schools, and he visits them just like he visited our school. And during this time, he's not really visiting schools, 
But what he is doing, he has started a YouTube page. Let's click over there. Um, he has started a YouTube page where he tells his different stories. And we heard some of these stories when he came to visit our school. Um, the roller coaster story, the chicken story. Um, so you can check that out over on Be the Nice Kid on YouTube. Um, another really cool thing, I'll be sharing it on my Muse um, Art Elementary, Muse Elementary Art Facebook page. Uh, he has uh, made a video just for us, just for Muse Elementary kids. So I'm going to post that on my uh, Facebook page so you can check that out. Uh, Brian wanted to say hello and hopes that everyone is doing well. Um, today is Friday. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I can't wait to see your walrus drawings. Share them with me and give me some ideas for our next animal. Take care. Have a great afternoon. See you, boys and girls.